from zero to becoming wealthy, building wealth from scratch. Did you know that in 2021, the official poverty rate of the United States of America was 11.6% with nearly 37.9 million people? This is according to the data collected by the United States Census Bureau. These are not just numbers from some magazine I'm pulling out. These are real people struggling to make ends meet. And in today's video, I will share with you how to build wealth from scratch, from nothing to becoming wealthy. Hi, my name is Manif Ali. I'm a self-made multimillionaire who started multiple brick and mortar businesses. And I created this channel to go ahead and share my life experiences so that I might educate people on how to become more successful. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Also, give us a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Before we go into the details on how to build your wealth from scratch, I have two pieces of advice for you. First, take caution on whom you ask for this advice. I can't stress that enough. In today's digital era, you can get information and build connections with one just click away. Everything available online and sometimes the people you meet there are not always what they appear to be. There are plenty of experts and gurus out there. There are even these people who would pretend to be someone else just to get views and likes. So it would be best for you to be careful who you reach out to. It's especially true when you want advice on how to become financially more successful. So the best thing to do is to listen to people who actually made it real, people who are successful financially and follow their footsteps. You can try watching videos on people you know are successful like Elon Musk or Warren Buffett and how they became successful, or maybe even reading books that they would recommend. It would be much better to learn from people who have actual accolades and statistics to look at. And I'm fully aware there are people on Instagram and TikTok telling you money advice so that you can become wealthy, but the source of their own income sometimes comes from content creation and, their, and a lot of the crud that I hear sometimes is not adding up. Especially in the real estate field, I'm looking at a whole lot of stuff and people are being misled. So I advise getting your information from people you know within your family, your friends, circle, people you know that operate a business, people that you know are wealthy and doing okay. And then start from there. And reading is a great way to start that. Now let's talk about the second thing, which is go out and make some money. Let's be honest here. You can't possibly build wealth without making real money, right? So it's great law of attraction. You want to sit in your room and think about money, but your ass isn't work for a long time. Law of attraction has to also do with the law of perspiration. You got to get out there and grind a little bit to build your wealth and look for opportunities. Now I'm all for attracting wealth, but it has to also be with action. So the best thing you could do is to work for it. It doesn't mean that it has to be your typical nine to five unless you're earning a million dollars a year through that. You can try output based career like sales or graphic design or content writing. You don't need to work a full eight hours as long as you can deliver amazing quality. You can own your own time. You can even have another job to earn you even more money. Or if you're a little bit of a risk taker and the fastest way to become wealthy is good old business. As proof, most people in the top 10 richest category in the world are businessmen and businesswomen. I mentioned risk taking because there is no 100% guarantee guarantee in business that you'll be successful. And it takes a whole lifetime of commitment, persistence, passion, and consistency to drive your business to success. As promised, here are some effective practical ways that you can implement in your life to become financially successful. Number one, develop the habit of investing. Did you know that the average American household spends $245 a month on entertainment expenses? That's almost $3,000 annually. This includes expenses on movie tickets, concert tickets, sports admissions, TV subscriptions, and other entertainment supplies and services. These things are good once in a while. But if you're serious about reaching financial freedom, you shouldn't be going to the movies every week if you can't afford it. So instead of spending $243 on entertainment, invest that amount in an IRA. If you're 20 now, start investing $243. And by the time you reach 60, you'll have over $600,000. And if you're 30 now, that's $294,000 by the time you become 60. It's a big difference to start early. So go ahead and learn about investing and invest everything you've saved. Before you know it, you've already earned hundreds of thousands of dollars and even millions. Number two is to diversify the sources of your income. Don't just rely on one source of income because life is full of uncertainties. So having multiple streams of income will insulate you a bit when a crisis does arrive. I knew someone that was working a nine to five job and great. I love nine to five jobs. That's how my parents built well. She was happy with the pay. The work was great, but the pandemic came. The company had to shut down. They had no choice but to lay off people like so many American and worldwide businesses. And unfortunately, she was one of them. The sad part is because of the company's financial situation, all all she could get was her exit pay. No separation pay, no pulling her you know, vacation hours out, whatever the company could stand, because remember, it went out of business. And that's a whole six years gone. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to work you know, 10 side hustles, but make sure you're making your dollars work for you by diversifying where you're putting your money and diversifying the ways that you create income for yourself. The thing with the side hustle is that you can always lean on it when your main hustle goes away. Just make sure you give your main hustle the amount of time and dedication needed so you can have 
a main hustle. But here are some things that you can do that don't require a side hustle per se. You can stop trade. You can do this on the side. You can teach yourself how to do it. You can read books. You can ask professionals. You can get online courses. You can move your money around. It's a lot better sometimes, though riskier than just putting it in savings. You can also take some of your nest egg and start to build a portfolio of real estate, where now you're getting passive amount of rent coming in. And depending on where and what city or state you invest in, positive cash flow is still very possible. Most of my net worth came from I fixed apartment buildings up and turned them and converted them into condos and then later sell them at a higher price or even rented them out. And while I was away on vacation or traveling, I was having rental income come in throughout my life. And I still do that now as the basis of a majority of my wealth. Now, if you rent your properties, you can use this income to buy other properties or invest in stock trades or tech companies like I did. It doesn't matter, but at least you have an additional source of income. And the earlier you start, the better it is. So your money is essentially making more money for you. Now, let's go back to the side hustle. Remember what I told you before, my friend had put all her eggs in that one basket. But had she had a side hustle, she could probably get on her feet a lot faster by dedicating more time to it. Now, more than ever, you know, Americans used to work two jobs like my mom did, or three even. But now you have the advantage of going online and offering your services or expertise, and there's a great advantage in that. Now you can use your primary job for all your living expenses and your side hustle to build your portfolio of stocks or an IRA or vacations or anything else that you might need. I would definitely stick with the with the stocks and the IRA and buying uh, real estate estate, but that gives you an opportunity to save more money, even if you're not making enough from your first job. That's all for today's video. And if you're serious about building wealth from scratch, remember that it's going to take time. There's no get rich quick schemes or Amazon FBA and all of these other courses out there. Great. You can build wealth from it, but you got to spend time and expertise and develop a plan and then stick to it. There's a lot of ways to become wealthy. But one thing is for sure, if you consistently apply yourself over a long period of time, wealth is possible for everyone. Even even if you're having a tough time making ends meet, cut your costs, get a side hustle or two. Don't give me any excuses about not making enough money unless you just don't have a job. And that means going out there and getting a job. Before you know it, if you have your plan in place, you look down at your bank account and online, you're going to be hitting numbers you never thought possible. All you need to do is to consistently save money and then invest that saved up money into something you know and understand. Don't get caught up in the trends either. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this content, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to know more about becoming a millionaire starting from nothing, go ahead and watch the real Munif Ali story. It's my rags to riches story and I'm still living it.